I know I did a video before about Trey, Trayvon Martin a few days ago and I've been getting comments out the ass that's a good thing people tell me what they think and there's been time there's been a couple of uh, people leaving comments of, of this man's information like his his first middle and last name his age his parents name his address his uh, zip code and his phone number and and uh, the other day I came across this uh, this uh, comment that I thought it was something else because these people are working hard on this petition to get to get an investigation on the department handling the case and I'm going to show y'all the comment because I'm really proud of these people and uh, here's the comment it, see, this is one cut. This is like this account where the change.org go to change.org the petition to prosecute the murder of Trayvon Martin. This is the guy that posted up, and this is the guy that posted the second one up. And I'm see, this is the guy, this guy posted his information out. Now, I've actually had another one did it on my other channel. And I tell y'all this, people, I, I say, I know, I understand where y'all coming from, and to see, and to see people do this, to, to see this guy do this to this kid, people, like, I actually sat there and people say, he, the guy that killed him was Latino, I, I never heard of a Latino with the name Zimmerman probably is some Latinos with that last name but I, to me I never heard of it and uh, there was a guy that actually put out the police chief's email address and I'll show you that this is uh, <laughs> bill.lee at sanford uh, florida fl.gov they like, email him and I tell you this, I saw something that really fucked me up. It uh, really fucked me up. I thought it was kind of stupid that this guy ever wrote this, and it pissed me off. It pissed me off because it, I thought it was fucking retarded. I thought it was stupid. I thought it was just the guy. The guy said something that I disliked so much. And I will show you the other comments that people wrote and all this because this other comment that was left on my other channel really shocked me on what I read because I thought it was unnecessary. Now this is going to be the police tape of the 911 call and I thought it was bad how he, this George Zimmerman profiled him so much. several calls to the police department about someone screaming someone screaming you see what I'm saying I, I just didn't get it and I, I seen this guy that wrote a comment I thought it was just stupid as, stupid as hell on what he said because I'm going to show you he says uh, it reads an innocent child was shot and killed because some guy thought the color of his skin was no that's not the that's not the one that's not the one but yeah, it was a good comment but it was a guy that wrote something I thought it was just fucked up and I thought oh my god I can't believe this guy ever wrote this shit I say 
I said, I couldn't believe this man wrote it. I can't believe he like put it ever crossed his mind. This uh, because it kind of fucked me up in a way. He kind of fucked me up in a way because he said, "What does race got to do with?" It? And it kind of for me, I think they deleted the comment, but it really pissed me off. It really pissed me off that this guy said, what this race got to do with it? A child was killed. What this race got to do with it? It does have, look, it's Florida. It's a southern state. Think about it. A light-skinned man shoots a black kid. That's a fucking hate crime. It doesn't matter if he was, if the shooter was Asian Latino or any other minority it's still a hate crime no matter which way you look at it and that's how it is I wouldn't sit there and say uh, I wouldn't say oh, what this race got to do with it it's got a lot to do with it okay here I found the comment that this fucker look this is his name I'm going to show you his name. This is his name. This is the screen name that left this bullshit comment. Y'all jot it down and y'all write to this fucker. Why does it matter to you? He killed an innocent child. Stop breaking race into this. It's a fucking race issue. A light-skinned man shoots a black kid in a gated community. A suburb. And you don't tell me that. And you can't sit there and say, Stop bringing race into this. It was a racial issue. It was a racial issue. Every time a black kid or a Hispanic child walks through the suburbs, they constantly think they're going to break in their house and steal shit. And they call the police on them not knowing these kids live in that, in that community. And you say, stop breaking race into this? What kind of boo-boo the fool are you, son? What kind of boo-boo the fool are you? This is a Wobo, a Wobi, whatever his damn name is. That's his name. He said, not bringing him into it. Like, look, dude. The kid got shot because he was black. In a suburb neighborhood. By a light-skinned man. And you say, don't bring race into it. Dude, this is stupid. Dude. Like, like you stupid. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm sitting here and I'm hearing a recording of several people calling the police department saying they heard yelling they heard screaming for help a lot of people from that same neighborhood heard gunshots gunshot and screaming and to sit here and for that motherfucker to say it's not a stop bringing race into it it was a racial issue. You can't sit there and say, oh, them black kids down in Georgia with that gender sick, that wasn't a race issue. You can't sit there and say, oh, it, that wasn't a race issue. Or that Rodney King beat it back in the 90s wasn't a fucking racial issue. And it was. Quit sitting up there saying, oh, it's not a racial issue. Now, I'm going to show you a comment that this, uh, another comment that shows everything, this dude's whole information. I said, this is the information. This is, I don't know if it's real or not. I never called the house or nothing. And uh, it says that he's, uh, his name, his address. He lives with his parents, Robert and his mom. The phone number to that house. Currently attending school. The school, Santa Florida, uh, Santa Ford, Florida zip code phone number he's going to school to take justice courses for a man that shot a kid in the chest killing him instantly the boy was unarmed and I get information like this saying he's going to college for justice for crime, criminal justice why is it like for me I don't get it why is this man walking free they haven't arrested him. They're not they even praising charges. That uh link that uh link I showed y'all the, the 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 petition, go to it, sign it, 
pass it around chance.org go to the uh, email the police bill.lee at Sanford Florida FL and do this for this kid because one thing is I, I was gonna say we should do old school we should do if you do that if you write to the police and right sign that petition and pass it around this is what I, I was gonna say well what we should do is march for this kid because there's kids that get get shot because of mistakes well this is not a mistake this is just pro racial profiling and for some people to sit up there and shoot this for a night uh he, they say he was a night watchman, a security guard, neighborhood watch. Well, I don't, I don't know, because they keep changing the damn name around with the title. And <laughs> and it's and it's bad and and it's it's not funny. It's not fucked up. But everybody around the world is actually upset about this. I have there's white folks, there's black folks, there's Hispanic folks, there's Arabics, there's people from Iran, Iraq, Chinese people, Brazilian people saying this shit that they was fucked up because this man shot this kid. Every minority saying this fucked up. Even the one guy that left a comment on one of my channel on one of my videos. And he said he was a white guy and I said, like, Oh my god, this is kinda of fucked up a white guy sitting there saying this I was like, but he was telling the truth though. I was like, that's what I like when everybody comes together to prove something was fucked up. Like I think what we should do is start a march. Like sign that petition for email that police officer, the chief of police down in Florida, and march to the capital of each city protesting for this for this kid. This protest for this kid. March to yo capital protesting about making a law for this kid. Come on now, because how many poli there's been, I, I'll tell you this, when I was his age, me and my friend standing on the corner waiting for the bus to come, minding our own business. One of my friend, name is Brian, God rest his soul, he's not here with us today, that was several years ago. Me and him was the only 18 year old standing on the corner waiting for the bus. We were smoking cigarettes, minding our own business with our friends around. Police drives up on us. He looked at me and him. He said, are you contributing your tobacco products? Uh, we said no. We told him how old we was. He said, if I find out that you are, I'm bushed ass. A week later, same spot, same day, me and my buddies were standing on the street corner. On that corner was a car wash. A Latino drove up in his car. Me and my same friend Brian and another friend walked up to see this Latino's car. My friend had his hands in my friend Brian had his hands in his pocket. We was walking back to the corner because the bus was about to pull up. By like five cop cars, by like one cop car came out of nowhere. Stop me and my friend. Then five more came out of nowhere. They grabbed my friend up, pushed up against the cop car, and searched him in front of everybody, in front of me, the people that was on the bus, the bus driver, the people at the gas station, and it was embarrassing. And my and, and it was kind of sad. It was kind of sad because my friend was black, and the officers was white. Was white. Now this is saying, my friend gets pushed up on by the police because he's black. People thought he was selling drugs because of the color of his skin. I've had run-ins with the police thinking I was selling drugs, but I didn't. And this is on a daily basis that other minority kids that walk through the suburbs that live there get racially profiled by police because the color of their skin they don't think that blacks 
Latinos, Arabics, Muslims, China. Well, I don't know about Chinese because I ain't never seen the Chinese getting run with the law. I can't really say nothing. Asian folk, if you say it like that. But the other four cannot walk down, even about racial people. We get racially profiled. And we, we, we get racially profiled by the police because they don't think we live in communities like that. And it's very sad that the police does it. It, it did it through the 50s, 60s, 70s. 80s, 90s, and today. It never changes. But it took it to a point where a night, uh, a neighborhood watchman shot a kid in the chest. Shot a kid in the chest because he was unarmed. Because he didn't recognize him. <laughs> he did call the police, though. Uh, he did call the police. And uh, I heard the tape. He called the police. That was a smart thing to do. That was telling him not to follow the boy and stay there he was giving them directions to come to the place to come to the gated community to arrest this boy and I thought it was just unnecessary for him to get out the car the question still is open like why would they why would he shoot this kid in the chest why didn't he just stay in the car? Why didn't he just stay on the line with the police and let the police handle it? It got to the point where the police was so late that the George Zingerman killed this boy. They were so slow getting to that community to fix, to do, deal with the issue that he shot this kid in the chest and he walks away with it. How do you walk away from a shooting the kid in the chest. Why didn't you wait for the police to handle it? That was unnecessary for this man to shoot this kid in the chest and walk away from a murder. I just did a, did a damn video about John, uh, Jason Russell walking away from three damn three. One, two, three. Three charges. No jail time. And this dude is this George Zingman was walking away from a uh, from a charge. I don't get this, man. The people that I don't get it. Why does this man get to kill people and walk away from it? I, I just don't get that. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, sign the petition, change.org. Email to the chief of the police down down in Florida. Bill dot Lee uh, Sanford, Florida you know, FL now, just don't put it Florida in FL just put FL and um, and to me and like I can say I think people should do a march on for this kid probably say why do a march because one thing is uh, if we don't do a march where we get the congressmen to make a law because I want I want a law to be put in this boy's name I really do because one thing is if there's a, if we put a law out there the Travis Martin law that's what I want to see is the Travis Martin law where if po if if somebody if a security guard or something like that a police officer shoots an unarmed person they go to jail no they go to prison skip jury skip skip all they just sentence them don't wait no trial if you shoot an unarmed person go to jail fuck you said well they already got the law but they don't even enforce the law they don't they really don't enforce the laws because they make the laws and they break the laws they make the laws and break the laws and this kid and this George Zingerman is going to fucking justice, uh, taking justice class. Why is he taking justice class and getting a, and get to go around shooting people in the chest? Why? Why? Why does this man get to walk around shooting people in the chest and then take justice class, uh, uh, criminal justice classes? Now I'm gonna show y'all again. Please, uh, it says like, I'm proud of this dude. Uh, Dancing CM, I'm proud of you, man. 
uh, 72 do I'm proud of you too because y'all putting it out there to get a petition a petition to put out that look go to change.org and write to Bill Lee thank you studio entertainment for putting that up there because nobody didn't know where to go Bill Lee at SanfordFlorida.gov and like write to your like don't write to your congress congressman fucking march to your congressman want to march to that motherfucker and say we need a law put in place that's how it is <laughs> and this has been out for I'm telling you man that's all it is we need to get together and we need to start marching against this bullshit because if we don't if we don't do anything about it we just sit on our asses and with a thumb up our, our asses we're letting people like George Zingerman get away with murder we let people like J uh, Jason Russell get away from janking off, being drunk in public, and sitting there fucking vandalizing people's cars. If we don't do something about it, then we just letting these motherfuckers run over us. We just sitting there letting these people kill our kids and act like, act like nothing happened. That's what we need to do. We need to get to that, get together and march. I ain't heard Louis Fair Con, I damn sure didn't hear Jesse Jackson or Am Shotta busting the damn lip saying we need to do something about this. Now nah, fuck them motherfuckers. If they don't want to stand up and say something about this, I will Afro Joe will stand up and say we need to march just for this little kid. Cause this cause this is bullshit. Three of the big three of the guys with big mouths. Louis Fair Con cause one thing is I watched Louis Fair Louis Fair Con video but he ain't said nothing. He didn't speak up and say, I think this is wrong. He can go around saying, uh, what's his name? Uh, his, the, the guy that ran, the, I uh, see, look, he, he didn't sit up for, he ain't did nothing. He didn't say nothing. Al Sharpton ain't got up and said nothing. Jesse Jackson too damn scared to say something. He's been more scared. He's been scared since Obama got in office. Uh, so I'm sitting up there saying we need to get together and march for this boy. We need a protest that this shit doesn't happen again. Because if we don't, we just letting these people slide. Backslide and get away with murder. Backslide and get away with breaking the law. Backslide and letting them do everything. Because this kid did not deserve to die. Didn't have nothing on him but a cold drink and a pack of Skittles. Like me and my friend was talking, me and my friend was talking about this, <laughs> and I actually told him I said what the boy was gonna do, and he was—it's actually in my last video about Jason, about my, uh, not Jason, but uh, Trayvon Martin. What was he gonna do? Throw a pack of Skittles at him and say, "Taste the rainbow." For real, what was he gonna do? Throw the pack of Skittles at him and say, "Taste the rainbow." I did not even see Ellen. I don't even see Rosie. I don't even see anybody open up their mouth saying anything. See, when you praise to when you praise to celebrities, celebrities don't give two shits or a fuck. This boy died for nothing. Them damn celebrities said, "Oh, it's sad. If it's sad enough, won't you get off your fat ass and march about it?" Won't you get off your fat ass and protest about it? Won't you get off your fat ass and do something about it instead of sitting up on national TV? It's sad to see this boy got shot for nothing. Y'all don't give a shit about people like this, about Trayvon. Even these damn YouTube motherfuckers that y'all appreciate too damn much. Fred, Ali, and her husband, Charles, Tazon Day, uh, Joe Nation, Fine, the Fine Brothers, and I ain't seen now one of these motherfuckers make a damn video about this boy. Big headline news, and not now one of them bust the great to do a video about this boy or say anything about it. I bet they sitting on that. No way, I'm glad that boy did. That's what they probably doing. It was Shane Dawson. He don't give a fuck. I bet he gonna make. I bet he gonna dress up and drag and make fun of him. All these people that y'all appreciate on YouTube a little bit too damn much. It's not going to do nothing but sit on their fat asses and make, and make fun of this boy. I'm the idiot. Dude, look, fuck the motherfuckers. I'm the only motherfucker that's sitting up there we should do something about it. I'm glad that 
well, I ain't the only one, but there's a lot of people, even me, saying we need to do something about this. I think we should be sitting up there standing united to stand up against shit like this. Don't worry about them motherfuckers, them, them YouTube motherfuckers. I just think. Fuck a I just think. Fuck a Tazon Day. Fuck a Shane Dawson. Fuck a, fuck a Joe Nation. This boy died for nothing. And these people sent up their bullshit. They say they your friend. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe. Ted like T A is. Ted like T A is. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel CeeLo Jr. Two and CeeLo Jr. Three, and holler at me. And right, like I said, go to the change dot org. Go to email that please captain. And I don't think we need to get together and protest against this shit. I ain't holler at me.